Like that harpoon gun, huh? Uh, 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 yeah, man, this thing is freaking sweet. Just be careful with it. It's not a toy. Yeah, okay. Ah! What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics and not too long ago I introduced you to my greener harpoon gun. This is the actual make and model that was used in the movie Jaws. It works off of a 38 special blank and it propels a one pound harpoon. We learned that this thing is actually very effective and the number one request from you was to test it out against a zombie torso. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today. I not only have these one pound harpoons, but I have some other unique harpoons to try out today. We have a ballistic dummy lab zombie torso. If you have never seen one of these before, they have lifelike flesh, bones, and organs, and this one has been zombified with green blood. I am super excited to get started, so let's get set up and get to it. But before we get started, I have a huge announcement. You all are always asking me about doing a meet and greet. Well, I'm finally gonna be doing one on April 14th and April 15th in Indianapolis, Indiana at the NRAM show. I don't normally go to stuff like this, but I got invited out by several vendors this year, and after thinking about it, I decided it would be a great time to do some meet and greets. So listen up. April 14th, I'm gonna be at Underwood Ammo's booth at 2 p.m. It's gonna be crazy. They're gonna be giving away puppies. They're gonna have a giraffe. I'm gonna arm wrestle Dwayne the Rock no, no, Johnson. No, 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 none of that. So, so none of that, none of that, no. Post Malone's not gonna sing me happy birthday, no. All right, never mind, scratch all of that. None of that's happening, but I will be at the booth there will be some cool co-branded shirts and there will be a lot of exciting announcements and events going on. And then on Saturday, April 15th, I will be at Underwood Ammo's booth again, this time from 11 o'clock to noon. After that, I will be at Wicked Grips from 1245 to 145 and then my last stop will be at Car Firearms from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. I'm super excited about this. I can't wait to meet all of you. I will leave all of this information in the description down below probably going to be my one and only meet and greet for the entire year so don't miss out okay let's get started first i'm going to load us up a 38 special blank and then we have our one pound harpoon all right here we go oh oh, oh no Yeah, I definitely hit a little bit high. He got hit here in the neck and was marked with the subscribe banner. Hit that subscribe button. Looks like my harpoon is all the way over here. And I believe it tumbled because uh, I have a whole garden sticking out the back of it. A few moments later. Okay, I'm gonna aim a little lower this time. Here we go. Oh! Okay, it did not make it all the way through him. Oh my goodness, that broke through all that bone. And this is gonna be really hard to get out of him. Yeah, I'm laying back gently. Oh yeah, oh. Uh, uh. All right, oh wow, okay. That is damaged. I also shot a flat screen TV with this and it did nothing to the harpoon. And uh, old Mr. Zombie there uh, completely bent my tip. Oh, that one pound harpoon did a lot of damage and I plan to hit the zombie with it again. But before we do, I'm gonna try out some of my more unique harpoons. This is a one pound garden gnome harpoon, and I'm really curious to see what kind of damage this thing does. 
Okie dokie, let's see what happens. Here we go. Oh! Okay, well, Garden Gnome lost his hat, and I believe it's lodged in the zombie here. Oh my goodness, that was pretty brutal. Broke his rib. Get some of these pieces out of here. Ah, goodness, well, there's the tip. I would not say it's as effective as the original one pound harpoon, but uh, it still did a lot of damage. So up next, I have a one pound iron fist harpoon. I'm gonna turn Mr. Zombie sideways. And we're gonna see if we can hit him right here in the jaw. Okie dokie. Let's see if we can knock out Mr. Zombie. Ow! Oh, I cannot believe I hit him. Oh, I think I managed to hit him. No, we hit him right here in the side of the head and that broke his whole skull. Oh, <laughs> oh the iron fist is no joke. I was hoping that I'd hit him right here in the jaw, but it's really hard to aim with these things. So up next, I have a harpoon that I am really excited about. The Jurassic Harpoon. This thing right here is pretty mean looking and I'm very excited to see what happens when we hit Mr. Zombie with it. Ow! It's like we had a malfunction. <laughs> well, like I said in the previous video, this harpoon gun is 50 years old. So you can only imagine how old a Jurassic harpoon is. It broke apart before it even made it to the zombie, but it still tried to take a bite out of him. Not gonna lie, I'm a little sad about the Jurassic harpoon, but I'm really excited about this next one, Poseidon's Trident harpoon. This should be interesting. Okay, kinda hard to aim with this thing, here we go. Oh! Oh my goodness, that harpoon was not playing around. Oh, <laughs> take a look inside there. You would not want to get hit with that. So I guess Poseidon's trident was pretty old as well. These little arms broke off before they even made it to the zombie, but that center one still punched him pretty hard and then the bulk of the harpoon did some damage as well. Okay, now I'm gonna circle back to the original one pound harpoon, and this time I'm gonna aim for the lower section of the zombie. Here we go. Oh! This thing hits a little high. Dang it. Oh, I meant to hit him here. I was aiming here and hit up here. Let's try again, shall we? I'm actually gonna get a little closer this time. Oh! That was definitely the softer section of the zombie. And uh, yeah, looks like we successfully made it all the way through him. Um, I'm just gonna push that one all the way through. Ah, okay. Yeah, that looks pretty bad. <laughs> all righty, we are back in business. I'm gonna turn him sideways now and uh, I'm gonna aim for this section. I expect this to be pretty eventful or it's gonna be very unfortunate because I'm gonna lose my harpoon. 
Wow, well, we definitely managed to hit it. Uh, yeah, so, um, not a lot to talk about here. Uh, it's pretty obvious what happened. And my harpoon is right over here on the ground. Oh, it did a little tumble, but it is not filled with dirt and it's still functional. Doesn't seem like it's any more damaged than what it was before. My goodness, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and say that if the zombie apocalypse occurred and all you had was a harpoon gun, it'd probably be okay. Well, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a big favor and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure and check me out on Kentucky Customs, Kentucky Ballistic Shorts, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you want to pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. I'll see you next time.